and welcome we are here at diamond city we are going to start far harbor the biggest most expansive dlc they've released for a fallout game we are using our character who was formerly known as the lucky idiot he is of course now an absolute genius with charm endurance strength perception all of that hopefully you followed me through our campaign through the commonwealth where we uh endured so many challenges faced so many dire situations and succeeded this is now where are you going now okay all right so this is our next challenge we've destroyed the institute that explosion came from the old time for us to go i mean you believe the stories of the history <laughs> yeah time for us to go farther afield i have never played far harbor before I hear that it is an exceptional story. Uh, people absolutely love this. Ready to put on the detective hat? The suggestion is to bring uh, Mr. Nick Valentine as your companion of choice. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And this is where it starts talking to Ellie, the uh, the receptionist here at Nick's Valentine, Nick Valentine's detective agency. So, who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you It's great, is it? Okay, line. yes. So, Mr. positive feedback from uh, G-Man. Far mm -hmm. Harbor is best. great. Missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'm looking forward to it actually. I've heard I've heard many, many good things. I heard that it gets the, the storytelling and the characters right when that kind of stuff is a little fuzzy in Fallout 4. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something Great. on the way out. Great. Good adventure for sure. Really no. looking forward to it. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. Give us the whole deets. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. All right, yeah. So Nick uh, has got a little bit of a history here. Definitely the uh, good old Trek. Yeah, definitely uh, the companion of choice. Let's just make sure. We've got a few little random, you know, missions going on, but let's switch that all off. We are here for the far harbor let's have a look shall we wow he wasn't kidding hmm looks like we've got a little uh settlement there how about we travel in style let's get out of here let's call a vertibird and let's fly up there that'll be a little bit quicker than hot footing it a little bit quicker than taking bus number 11 which is slang for your legs. So this is this is one of those things I've I've avoided spoilers. I I really don't know sort of what happens in this story. I'll just very quickly show you what I've got. We're traveling light because there's probably lots of great stuff to carry. Wounding shotgun. I need something that can just take down big stuff. Explosive 44 pistol, hits hard. Deliverer, classic 10 mil weapon. And I've got the spray and pray, because it's just fun. I've given uh, Nick a two-shot sniper rifle, just so he's got a bit of range. A bit better than his creaky flipping rusty pipe pistol. Back on speaking terms with the Brotherhood of Steel. That's very good for us. Wah. 
Okay, here's our ride. Obviously, in survival mode, you cannot fast travel. You can instantly teleport to the Institute. That's if you don't turn it into a great big radioactive crater in the ground, which I have. And if you're on pretty good terms with the Brotherhood of Steel and don't do anything silly like wipe them out entirely, then uh, you can do this. You can just call an Uber. Top on board, have a nice look at the night skyline of Boston. Because um, we ain't going to be seeing it for a while. Vertibird is the way to go. Simple, elegant. Oh. you got to tell it where you're going, though, don't you? Go to the coastal cottage. That, of course, is a settlement. We'll be able to... Uh, there'll be a bed or two there. We can uh, save there. This is one of the things that I like. I like their environmental changes throughout the game as you develop the story. So, obviously, we've got vertebrates flying around doing their thing as soon as the Brotherhood are active. See the Pridwin on the horizon. See those vertebrates doing whatever they're doing, patrolling. It's nice, pretty cool. Something that I do have is two armor pieces that let me move a little quicker. I read a magazine which lets me swim 25% faster as well. So we can probably travel about as fast as a vertebrate, but obviously you're gonna bump into horrible people, nasty problems, all that kind of stuff when you're on the ground. It's a little bit misty. Look at that, the sky's pretty busy. There we are, Nick just cooling his heels. Be cool if they made a mod for jumping out. Yeah, that would be pretty badass. There's got to be some high tech flipping squirrel suit type stuff going on in the Fallout universe. There you go, there's the Pridwin. I, I'm, I'm really pleased, actually, that I sided with the Minutemen, destroyed the Institute. Hopefully, everybody saw that. It was very exciting stuff. But managed to stay friends with the Brotherhood of Steel, which is it's pretty cool, actually. I, I do like the Brotherhood of Steel. Really one of those factions I don't agree with 100% they are a little bit too fascist a little bit too um, you know they're, they're, yeah they're, they're, they're not very concerned with the rights you know of the denizens of the uh, of the commonwealth but oop. can we help with that checkpoint brotherhood of steel are just cool they just are Hence, they get to live. I don't know, I'm blowing up some cars. Maybe that. Well, I got some points for something. Yeah, my, my community in this game is insane. I'm not sure these days. Yeah, I, I. Not too keen on mods. Of course, they did recently add a whole bundle of stuff from the community into the actual main game and it's good stuff it's interesting stuff all right i think we've got one more car what do you think we're doing nick flipping heck thank you very much for the lift sir all right, let's first of all, before we start there, just hit our settlement here. Wow, what a wreck. Look at this place. This really needs a, a tidy up. We'll do that some other time. Now, where's that bed? Let's get some sleep. 
Let's save the game and then we'll go to the Nakara residence and see what's what. Nothing like a stealthy entrance. Yeah, when you're a flipping tank, you don't need stealth. <laughs> right, uh, travel to the Nakano residence, right, that's up here. Try and stay on the high elevated cliff shelf. Is clearly something I killed earlier. I've, uh, I've taken some food and stuff as well. But generally speaking, we are traveling pretty light because I'm sure there's bound, there's bound to be a lot of stuff that we want to explore. Somebody's doing some shooting. Anyone got it into their full head to send any bullets this way? Oh. What the flipping heck is going on here? Let's help out our Minutemen brethren. Go non explosive because it's kind of close by. Gotcha. Idiot Savant. Ooh. That's a beautiful weapon. That really, really is. I might keep hold of that. We'll see if we can do anything with that. Um, maybe we can, maybe not. Oops. Did you just... I don't know what these things... I, th I think the Myalurks are crawfish. They're mutated crawfish. They kind of look like that, don't they? Alright, we ain't here to kill things. We're here to get somewhere, so... Oh, I'm hearing danger music. Oh, okay. That did not warrant the music. got to be careful with these explosive weapons. Anything jumps out at you at point-blank range, you can wind up hurting yourself, of course. Oh, there you go. It's turned up on the mini-map. Yeah, we're getting... Can't even see ourselves on the map, but we're getting close. on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. I uh, hope you don't mind. Yeah. We let ourselves in. <laughs> Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You have to get to work right away. Why don't you away. come inside? What are you doing? So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. 
And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Sounds fair. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. We're not asking for money here. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? If we've got any um, dialogue checks that we can do, that gives us some free, easy XP. Tell me more about... I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something. Like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines, Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the <laughs> south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. No more questions right now. Hmm. Work Interesting story Mrs. already. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I kind of like the fact that this is an investigative uh, your husband don't type seem story. To that's that's kind of interesting. Why your daughter left? We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? But why? I'd like to know more about Kasumi. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Oh, no, no, no. Every Come on now. Don't leave anything out. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in a <laughs> grandmother's boathouse. I think I've got more patience with, uh, with the mother. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working with. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotected. Okay, you're kind of throwing Kenji under the bus here now. Every detail is important. It's just that we've been... He, oh, yeah, she you told us that. Him. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Nothing else right now. Yeah, those, um... Those dialogue checks. Again, bit of extra XP, and they, they usually have something a bit more illuminating than what people are just willing to, uh, to say. Yeah, okay. You building a collection or something? Looks promising. Rio. 
station, working radio, I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle <coughs> is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should be... No. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Okay, uh... What else am I exploring? Uh. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Okay. We've got a little marker down here, so, uh... Let's go check that out, shall we? Loads of good scrap, loads of good uh, junk. There. Ah, now. Something that we can do. Find something in the shadow of the greenhouse. Okay. Uh, something that we can do. I made a point. I figured if we're going into Far Harbor, I don't want it keeping any secrets. So, bumped up my locksmith. We can open anything. Uh, I don't want any locked doors, figuratively or literally. When we go to Far Harbor, I want to know its secrets. So, we can lockpick the crap out of anything that we want. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood... I can't remember, and... Oh, bless her. She has synth as well. Dreams. I... I'm going to go. To meet these synths, I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. Sounds like Mummy was I can right. I my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly... There's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Okay, seems to want us to uh, talk to Kenji. Let's do that. Then. Find out a little bit more about this. Does he know his daughter was a synth, or suspected at least? Did you your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. What kind of question is that? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find mm. where Kasumi went, Detective? I, I genuinely actually want to know the Kasumi answer to this. This is an interesting... Do you know what's up there? Interesting where mystery. Specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. But that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. 
My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For well, if you insist. Nothing else. <sighs> tell the railroad. Tell the brotherhood. Yeah, I got the entire set of DLC. Let's uh, let's just do what we're gonna do. The, the Brotherhood, all of that, they can they can find out. They can find out some other time now. Some epic weapons in Far Harbor. Hope you have a few bottle caps on you. I do. I was thinking of improving actually my bartering skills. And what was it? Was this is there something around here that you can dig for? I got this shovel. Oh. Let's just get to it. Check we got everything that we need. Cats. Meow. Hello. I there's no way to interact with the cats. I can't Bio. pet them or anything. Bio. Bio. <laughs> I want to go here we go. Ooh. I thought cutscene would just sort of kick in or something. We actually gonna... Uh, Nick, do you... It's fine, he'll teleport on board, won't he? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Far Harbor. Squirrel on a stick and cat as well. Oh, I would kill anyone who was serving cat as food. Like, honestly, where is Nick? I didn't tell him to stay, to stick around or anything, did I? Is this common? Is this something that can happen? Nick kind of just doesn't seem to be present until you land on shore or something. Wow, look at this place. Eerie. Quite beautiful though. This specifically, um, oh, nice. I don't know what part of Boston, I don't know where this is. They kept on saying about traveling north, so it's somewhere north of Boston. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers... Don't lie, oh, this well, guy. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Okay, I'm gonna need a little more. Mariners. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall. Fair deal. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Careful right, where am I, where am I going? Don't fall off! If you do, I might not be able to rescue you in time. 
Follow Captain Avery. Aye, aye, sir. Take a sip of water. Right, what are we going to be facing? Wow, what is this? That's oh, okay. <laughs> Idiot Savant kicks in. Okay, first task complete. I think we've probably earned some goodwill with the people of this town. Let's see what they got to say. And now you see what we're up against. The fog that was easy, man. That was easy. The whole island for my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it. The deep fog that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's I far don't. worse further inland. That was easy. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, hey, Commonwealth's just got a hell of a lot better. I've got loads of settlements safe. there. If you manage to survive despite all that, it must be tough. <laughs> I'm not actually that impressed. Cornering more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. No, no, that's what I'm here for. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship. Uh -huh. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a place They're, with them. Oh, I hate them. They use radiation based. Alan Lee. Weapons. That's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. I yeah, and I'm 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 actually kind of favoring us. Alan here. If it were up to me, you'd hang. Children of the Atom, uh, they Alan. suck. Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. I'm not sure that's going to make our job here easier. The mainlander sees the sense in all this. I will do everything in my power to keep the peace here. So go, Alan. Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed in well, yes. to the refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What do you think I'm going to be doing with him? Uh, what can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. Okay. But all right. All right. 
People around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other. Sure. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slap. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Okay, so she's pretty much the only sane, reasonable person in town. Gotcha. Hello. Um, why am I? Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, okay. mariner. Let's let's get to know the townsfolk, huh? Sure. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the mariner, shipwright, handyman, I'm the only one keeping the harbor. Up. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do uh -huh. that, they yeah. won't be easy to come by. 450 caps. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. Come on, yeah. I'm a bit short on caps. But I have Ooh. old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no, he can't use it anymore. Okay. Sign me up. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Unique weapon. Eagles are certain to be there. Now get. Yes, ma'am. No. Right, who else we got? Who's Cassie Excuse Dalton? Me. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better no. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My Spit family, it out, come on. The Daltons was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story mm. with the stranger's help, the last lit. Whatever. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. Now, on to the first chapter. Beatty was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the islands... Anyway, he made it back to town. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Waiting okay, I'll kill a bunch of feral ghouls. That's, that's... Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park campground. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. Sure, you know, I, yeah, yeah. Ice a bunch of feral ghouls, no problemo. The last plank, now this is where Mr. Longfellow is, I believe. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can take your order. Uh, are you okay for the moment? I'm just here for some conversation. We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths, open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see it. I, th I thought that is good night to the pub. To have another round. On the house. Yeah. Time to Ooh, party. Cool. Here's the Mitch. Mitch. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for you. Ha <laughs> ha. You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Got a good attitude. Uh I'd like what's a he drink. got? Music. <clears throat> Uh, nothing of too much value. Mitch. How can the last plank set you up? 
I'd like to run a room. It's up the stairs. <coughs> All right, I tell you what, we're gonna, um, we're gonna get some kip. I think that'll be the end of this session. <coughs> and I'm working in Wales, um, I'm not going to be uploading that regularly, but I want to do at least a video a week if I can, and I'm very intrigued to see through this story of, uh, Far Harbor. This is, it's interesting so far. I'm engaged. Interesting characters. Interesting story. I want to know more about the fog. I want to kill the children of the atom. Um, but, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll call it a session there. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.